welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Gloria. If you want to join the Hive Barbie squad, don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. I'll leave it somewhere around here where I literally post nearly every day and I talk to you guys there. So don't forget to follow me on there. So today's video, as you probably have already seen by the title of this video and the thumbnail, it is my eyeshadow palette collection. I don't know what it is about eyeshadow palettes. I absolutely love them. Like when I see a new one, like I see that Too Faced gold chocolate bar palette coming out in Mecca Maxima here in Australia. And I'm just like, need, need. But after you see my collection, you're going to be like, do you really need it? I probably have the same colors in a thousand other palettes. So sit back. Grab a tea, grab a coffee, grab popcorn, whatever you want, and let's get started. First three palettes I'm pulling out of my collection are these three, which came in a holiday collection by Too Faced this year. I actually got this as a gift, and I'm so appreciative of it. So generally, Too Faced do come out with these three palettes during the holiday time, and it has the two and from at the back, which I find super cute. It comes with a I Believe in Pink, super fun night out, and natural beauty. The I Believe in Pink is obviously pink tones. It is pretty. I have not used these eyeshadow palettes as of yet. We've got the natural beauty. I think this is my favorite one. Super pretty, love. And there is super fun night. So super pretty again. It comes with the highlighter. But yeah, these are super cute, and these are new additions to my collection, and I can't wait to try them. The next thing in my collection is the Yes Please palette by ColourPop. It's a really popular palette from them. I think this was one of their best selling ones for 2017, if I'm correct. Now let's just let's just see why it is their best selling one of their best selling palettes like can you see that that is literally a one second like dip my finger in and then look at that swatch look at the pigmentation like i can't i can't color pop seriously their eyeshadows are absolutely fabulous they're so affordable it's crazy and the pigmentation and the quality is just amazing so this palette is super super pretty and I'm glad I picked this up the palette I have is this little guy and it's a nude by nature ultimate nude palette I really don't reach for this palette often because I just find it very near I'm a very like shimmery girl so I like shimmer but this palette is cute and I mean it's great it's got transition shades you can work with it so I'm gonna try and grab this palette more and it is super cute and I mean it'll be cute for traveling and on the go. My collection is the also famous Modern Renaissance Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Now this is my first try of Anastasia eyeshadows and I absolutely love them. They are powdery but the pigmentation, the blendability of these shadows is absolutely amazing. As you can tell I love this palette so much that I've hit pan on a lot of shades. But yeah I love this palette. I think it's great. I think it's a good staple and I mean when you want to try Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows I recommend picking up a palette because her single shadows are quite expensive by themselves and with this you can try a variety of colors and make a variety of looks so I highly recommend picking up this palette if you're into these shades. The next eyeshadow palette in my collection is the Nude Dude Volume 2 The Balm Eyeshadow Palette. Now these are super pretty. This was my second high-end palette in my collection. I picked it up because it had the pink and rosy tones which I didn't have my in my collection at that time. It's also got this really pretty black with silver shimmer in it. Eyeshadow right here is called Fierce. I don't grab this palette often anymore. I don't think I really ever did to be honest and I don't know if I would recommend it. I mean the shadows are amazing. I love this white shadow here. They're pretty good quality if you see those two swatches there but I mean when you compare them to Colourpop, Anastasia they're okay to be honest so yeah the next palette in my collection everyone that follows me on Instagram knows that this is my ride or die palette I absolutely love this a bit this was my first ever high-end palette and you can pretty much see from the outside that it is well loved and then when you open it up you can see it is even more well loved I I just can't explain the love I have for this palette. Um, I love that it has this great transition color here. It's got a nice champagne shimmer. The palette is nonetheless one of my favorites. The eyeshadow palette in my collection is a Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I love this so much. It is such 
a beautiful palette. You can see it is also well loved. The shades in here are absolutely everything. There's that also famous blueberry swell colour, which everyone was obsessed with. Look how pretty that is. I don't use it that much because I'm pretty much a neutral girl. But these shades are everything. My favourite shade in here is probably Peanut Butter, which is this one here. Love that to bits. Love these two palettes. The next palette in my collection is the Too Faced Eggnog Latte. This again was from the 2016 Too Faced Christmas collection. This is the only palette I kept out of the collection. This is what it looks like. This was my favourite out of all of them. Um, this has this really pretty central, central perk shadow which I didn't have any of anything like that in my collection how pretty is that I love that to bits and it's got this cold brew shadow which I also had nothing like this in my collection so I thought I'd have to keep it it's absolutely stunning the next palette in my collection is the Milani Bear Necessities now I got this as a gift Milani is not that easily accessible in heat like here in Australia so when my friend was in Hawaii, she grabbed this for me. Um, and to be honest, the shades and the quality are, is fantastic. Like, I just, I think it's great. I find the shades a bit crumbly, however. Look at the pigmentation of these shadows. How stunning. I think these are great shadows. Unfortunately, I don't use this palette as much as I thought I would. But it's because I have so many and I'm just trying to use them all. So I definitely have to remind myself to use this because it is absolutely beautiful. The next eyeshadow palette I have is the Too Faced Natural Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. Now this I don't really gravitate towards, towards and I'm not too sure why. I was like, oh my gosh, if I get this I will use it all, all day every day. Um, but ever since I got it I have barely touched it. So I've got to make a note to use that. I just thought it was cute and I mean Too Faced always get me with their cute packaging. The next eyeshadow palette is the Colourpop I Think I Love You. This palette, just, let's just take a moment. We'll just take a moment. How beautiful is this palette, Colourpop? They just, they just know me. They know me. Like, these, I'm just such a shimmery girl. I just, I can't even do, oh my goodness. Can you see that? Like, that is just absolutely stunning. I can't. I can't fault Colourpop shadows. They're just amazing. The next palette in my collection is the also famous Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette. Now, it took me a while to get on the bandwagon of this because it was like $90 here in Australia. And I was like, I don't know how I feel about spending $90 on an eyeshadow palette. But YouTube beauty gurus got the better of me and I picked this up. Now, I think these shades at the bottom and... The top row are fantastic. I really, really like them. The glitters are not... I, I'm just not a fan of them. Like, they're just really... I don't know if you can see, but they're very chunky. And they just come on... I don't know. I don't... They're pretty, but I don't like them. And I never, ever use them, to be honest. I just don't like the way they come across on the eyes. Next palette in my collection is the Naked 3 Urban's K palette. I... I... I, I don't know. I don't know. This is my first Urban Decay eyeshadow palette and I bought it because it was just rose gold. It had rose gold tones, it had rosy tones and I mean I didn't have any of those shades in my collection at the time. And I don't know, I don't know if they're all the naked palettes are like this but I am utterly disappointed with this. This is expensive number one and the pigmentation and the quality of the shadows I don't even know where they are. Like, I just don't know. It's just, I don't know where the colour is. I don't know where the pigmentation is. I'm just like, pigmentation, where you at? Because I'm trying to find you. I'm really trying to find you. It, it's just not my favourite palette. I don't recommend this. Each their own. I have friends that have this palette and I've swatched theirs. And they've told me they absolutely love it. And their pigmentation is completely different to this. So, I don't know if I got a dodgy one to be honest I'm not too sure but I just I don't know not my favorite I personally don't recommend this I'm sure there's other better quality eyeshadow palettes with rose gold tones in it than this eyeshadow palette speaking of rose gold and rosy tones is the femme rosa she palette by Colourpop 
Again, ColourPop shadows, they just, they don't disappoint. I don't think they ever disappoint, to be honest. They are absolutely stunning and amazing. And, I mean, how could you not love these? The little rosy tones never hurt nobody. Next palette in my collection, I got, just as a spare of a moment, I was at this makeup warehouse sale thing and I got this. I don't know why, because I have not touched it ever since I got it. Got it? Ever since I got it, which is unfortunate, and it's the Urban Decay Vice Reloaded palette. I love the way it opens, super luxurious, but I don't want to blind you. But it looks like so. I don't know ooh, how these colors match. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I can create a look with just this palette, to be honest. I, I have not reached for this at all. I mean, the palette looks stunning and the, great. I love that it has a big mirror, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I just, I don't know. And I don't know what on earth I was thinking when I grabbed this. The half price thing really got me. Not, not the, it looks fantastic. It's the half price. My collection is the Shan XO BH Cosmetic Eyeshadow Palette. Now, I don't really use this. I got this because Shan XO. Love her. But, I don't know. I just never really fell in love with this palette. They're super pretty. And the pigmentation is pretty good. Um... I really like the shadow here, which is like a duo chrome. It looks like reddish brownish, and then it's got like, I don't know if you can see that one up here. It's like a reddish brownish, I don't know what's going on on there, but I love it. I also like that it came with lipsticks, but however, I never use them. I've used them a couple of times, and that's about it. I kind of forget that they're there. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of this palette. But that's just my personal opinion. I think it's great. The quality is great. But I just don't think it's for me. The eyeshadow palette that I have is the Tarte Paint Box. I think that's what it was called. I don't have a name on it. But it is massive. It's like a big book. I don't know how I feel about it. But when you open it, it is super pretty. The only Tarte eyeshadows I have. I have never tried Tarte eyeshadows besides this. And I heard that the quality is very different from this palette compared to their Tartlet in Bloom palette. I can't really talk about the quality of Tarte eyeshadows if these are different and a lot of people are saying that. But I don't mind this palette. So you can see the shadows there. They're not too bad at all. They're just apparently not the same quality as the Tartlet in Bloom um, palettes. But it also comes with a blush, a highlighter and two bronzers. So that's super cute. And then in this little section here I had an eyeliner, mascara, and a lip paint. But yeah, I actually really like this palette. I think it's great. I just wish it was smaller um, in small packaging so it would be easy to carry around and take around and travel with. The next eyeshadow palette is the Urban Decay Full Spectrum. This is what it looks like. I felt like I needed a little, a little bit of colour in my collection. I don't have a palette like this. This is the only palette I have that is full of colour. And I thought I needed something just in case I do want to do a fun look and you know change it up a little bit so i actually have used this i created a pinky look on my instagram again i'll leave my instagram somewhere around here so you can go check it out but it's not too bad i just don't feel like the i don't know you can see but it's very patchy the next eyeshadow palette in my collection is you had me at hello by colourpop Super pretty, pretty palette. That pigmentation. This is such a super pretty palette and yeah, love it. Collection is the Kylie Jenner, the bronze palette. Now, I love this palette. I think it's great. It has all your neutral tones. If you're a neutral gal like me, you would love this palette. It's great. Yeah, I probably don't need it though because 90% of these shades are probably in palettes I already have, but I just felt like I needed it in my life. This eyeshadow palette I have is the Zoeva Obsolence palette. Now, I have not used this. I got this as a Christmas gift and it is super stunning, super pretty. Like this Get Your Glory shade. I just, I can't. Like it is absolutely stunning. It's a bit streaky, but I think that's because I wiped my hand but how pretty the pigmentation is amazing this blue one I don't even know how to say that but we're just gonna say blue is stunning oh my goodness yeah love it the pigmentation is definitely there in this palette 
absolutely stunning. I'm so excited to create a look with this palette. Really, really like it. I have noticed in this palette that there is no transition shades or anything like that. So I think it might be hard to just create a look with just this palette by itself. But nonetheless, it is super pretty and yeah. Next palette in my collection is the Element of Surprise Colourpop Palette. Love. Love this palette so much. As soon as I saw this shade here, it reminded me of the um, purpley tone in the uh, um, Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette, which I absolutely loved that shade. And when I saw this, I was just like, I need it. Look at that. It is so pretty. And then you've got like this pretty hot pink shade right here. The pigmentation is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, Colourpop. The next palette in my collection is actually my Z palette. So all these square ones at the bottom are actually from the NYX Advent Calendar last year because it came with eyeshadows and lipsticks or lip glosses and yeah, lip products. So um, I just depotted them and put them in here. They're in like a cardboard packaging individually, but I just put them all together. They look super cute, super pretty. The smaller circles are all Colourpop shadows. Love these shades so much. They're the pinky, rose gold, the neutral tones. Love it. And this big one is actually not an eyeshadow. It is a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. But yeah, so that is my Z palette with all my individual eyeshadows. Next palette I have is the Natural Love palette by Too Faced. I was just so excited to get this palette. Unfortunately, I feel like the quality is not there with this palette. It does not compare to the Chocolate Bar palettes at all. I just, I don't know what's going on. Like, the pigmentation on some of these shadows are nowhere to be found. Even though the shades in here are beautiful, um, they're just, I just feel like the quality is just not matching the Chocolate Bar palette. I don't think it's awful, like it doesn't compare to the Naked 3 palette, but I just don't think it's Too Faced quality. Next palette I have is this beautiful thing right here. It is the Golden State of Mind by Colourpop. I don't know what to say. This palette is everything to me and more. I love shimmers and I just, I can't, I can't even deal. Look at that. Oh my gosh, Colourpop, you are amazing. These shadows are absolutely stunning. If you're a shimmer girl like me, you love a little glitter, love a little shimmer, I highly recommend this palette. It is my absolute favourite palette I have in my collection from Colourpop. The Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette. Super cute. And look at these shades. These are everything I want in a palette and more. It is super pretty. You've got your shimmers, which, yeah. And this silver shade here is just, sorry, I'm just going to... Put it right next to look at that sorry don't mind those are the color pop ones but this silver shade everything everything you need in life and more this palette is absolutely beautiful i do want to pick up the other ones she has um i just they're always sold out but i am going and i am determined to pick up the other ones not that I need any more eyeshadow palettes, but... So that is all the eyeshadow palettes I have in my collection. I love eyeshadow palettes more than any other product in my makeup collection, to be honest. I just love them to bits. They're so beautiful. I love eyeshadow palettes. Let me know in the comments down below what your favourite eyeshadow palette is. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also give this video a thumbs up if you want to see a makeup collection video. Because I have... My makeup stored right behind me. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you can see my next video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I post, like I said, pretty much daily and I like to chit chat with you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!